Thank you very much. So we have been talking a lot about the space exploration, future uh, borders, and we see that in all this context, electric propulsion is quite important. And uh, this technology actually is not new, but uh, what we see is that in the new era of electric propulsion, there is a problem related with long duration missions and uh, long uh, or far uh, destinations. At least that today we see that um, the propellant uh, gouging methods that we have to know how much propellant do we have are not good enough for such a long distant missions because actually they have to cope with the same accuracy that in the previous missions for larger amounts of propellants up to four times and for longer operational lifetime. And what we see is that um, the degradation of the sensing elements are the main problem here. So despite this scenario, and despite all these future projects that we see here, no improvement has been done in the past decades. So new methods are wanted. What makes our solution unique? Well, we have developed a method that is actually hybrid, so it combines the main advantages of classical approach. It also uses DRL line hardware for measuring, so no need of new hardware development also improve the accuracy of the classical method by improving the um, modeling of the propellant inside the tanks, removing the main source of error, maintaining the sensitivity during the entire mission, and the best low cost implementation because it actually used only in a smarter way the ex existing telemetry. Thank you very much.